Hello! I thought I'd show you one way that I use transfer foils on purses. For this one, I'm using a stainless steel purse, but the same technique can be used on acrylic purses as well. I call this the double-sided tape method. So you'll need a blank purse, some poster board for cutting a template, self-adhesive vinyl in a solid color or shelf liner in a solid color, a large double-sided tape sheet such as tumbler tape brand or cat scratch brand, Of course, APS transfer foil, a plastic dough scraper, and a very sharp craft knife. To do this, I suggest you make a template. I make mine slightly larger than the diameter of the purse, and I use that template to cut two pieces of self-adhesive vinyl. One one piece for each side of the purse and two pieces of double-sided tape. So you're going to adhere the double-sided tape to the vinyl. I do this because I find it much easier to apply double-sided tape to vinyl rather than directly to the surface I'm working on. So I pull back the protective backing on the double-sided tape about an inch and adhere it to the vinyl. Then I use a plastic scraper to firmly adhere the double-sided tape to the vinyl as I'm removing the backing. This ensures a clean, bubble-free adhesion. We don't want any bubbles. And again, I'm just working from the center out to the edge to push out any little bit of trapped air that may have gotten in there. So now you're going to remove the backing from the vinyl and apply it to the purse in the same way that you just applied the double-sided tape. That is, peel the backing about an inch to get it started and then adhere it to the purse. In this case, I'm setting the purse on top of the vinyl just to make sure I have it all covered. Okay, so then use the scraper to apply the, the vinyl while removing the backing. Again, to prevent any bubbles from forming between the vinyl and the purse. Just take your time, go slowly. Okay, and then Going from the center out, gently use your scraper to push out any trapped air. You're going to have some overhang and that's just fine because we're gonna trim that overhang with a very sharp craft knife. And I'm going to do that off camera, and then I'll be right back.
Okay, now that you have the excess all trimmed away, it's time for the fun part. So you're going to remove the protective backing to reveal the sticky tape underneath. And look at that, there is not one bubble. And now you're going to apply your transfer foil in whatever manner you wish. I crumpled this one up. Sometimes I crumple it, sometimes I don't. And I'm using a paper towel and my fingers to make sure it's all adhered. I'll take this time to, to say that this is just one way to do it. I do this when I don't want to prime and paint the surface and use foil adhesive. Absolutely nothing wrong with foil adhesive and there's none better than Artsyville Embellishments Foil Adhesive by Artistic Painting Studios. It just depends on what I'm working with. I, I like using the, the double-sided tape on these purses. But you could certainly use Bondego and Foil Adhesive. So rub firmly all the way to the edge and make sure the entire surface is covered. <laughs> now, when you start to peel the cellophane away, go slowly and gently as you're getting it started there at the edge. Get that all loosened up around the edge and it will go much easier. See, I told you this was the fun part. And look at that. That's like 99.9% .9 coverage. Wow. So now this side is ready for epoxy. And once I have several coats of epoxy on this side and it's all cured, then I'll do the other side. It's important not to foil both sides at once because the, the, the naked unsealed foil is very vulnerable to damage at this point. So I can't wait to get both sides done and get the beautiful trim on this and then I'll show it to you when it's finished.